Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to an IT quarter one press meet. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, making the announcement uh, today from an IIT, we have Vijay Thadani, Vice Chairman, Managing Director in IIT, Mr. P. Rajendran, Joint Managing Director in IIT, and Sapnesh Lala, CEO and Executive Director in IIT. Uh, to uh, give an overall context on the quarter one performance for an IIT, may I request uh, Vijay uh, to please you know, share his opening remarks. Over to you, Vijay. Thanks, Pratik, and uh, thank you very much for joining uh, us today. Uh, we know it's uh, busy results time, so having your time for this particular meeting means a lot to us. And we will, as usual, be better educated with your questions, uh, which we are hoping you will have at the end of this uh, briefing. I have with me uh, Rajendran as well as uh, Sapnesh, and uh, we will discuss the overall performance for, for this quarter, first, first quarter, uh, which has been a quarter of a strong performance uh, in the face of uh, very increasing, a uh, high degree of increasing uh, uncertainty, as well as the macroeconomic changes, which are taking place very, very rapidly. But in this, both the businesses have done well. And I would now request Sapnesh, uh, to uh, please lead the uh, conversation with <clears throat> with his initial brief and uh, then i'll request uh, raju to also join in for uh, answering questions if you may have thanks vijay uh, and thanks everyone for joining uh, uh, nit uh, like vijay pointed out has uh, done well in a challenging environment the revenues were up 34% year on year the EBITDA stood at 74 crores. The profit after tax stood at 44.3 crores and an EPS of 3.3 rupees uh, per share. The corporate uh, learning group continued its momentum and grew at 18% year on year and added four new MTS customers as well as recorded a revenue visibility of 304 million IRR. I can't be on two calls. No, something. Yeah, uh, the SNC business, on the other hand, had a whopping 145% growth, uh, aided, of course, by the acquisition of uh, RPS. Not including RPS, it grew by over 50% year on year. So overall, both businesses performed well. Uh, the growth momentum continues. New customer acquisition uh, continues on pace as well as strong growth in existing customers. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Sapnesh, uh, for sharing the perspective. Uh, if we have any questions now, we can take them, or you know, you can send the same to us on email or call. Uh, I'm, and Mr. P. Rajendran is uh, also here with us on the press meet. If there are any specific queries or uh, Mr. Rajendran, if you want to share any specific update, uh, we will you know, uh, look forward to the views. So this, uh, <clears throat> like Vijay said and uh, Sapneh said about the results. Anyway, the press release is available and we'll be putting up the presentation on the uh, website. Uh, the only thing to say is that the India business has now really looked up last quarter. And uh, that on one side, we are talking about uh, pressures on demand, but on the other side, we are also seeing in certain uh, specific uh, segments, we, we are having good demand uh, working with corporates in India. So uncertainty has two parts. One is that things which we cannot plan, but may happen. On the other side, we plan and it may not happen. So we are, we are. it is tough time, uh, good results for the quarter, and we have to go forward, um, being very mindful of these realities. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Rajendran, for your perspective. And uh, we are available uh, in case of any queries, uh, you can reach out to us uh, and get in touch uh, to answer the same. Uh, we bring the press meet to an end. Uh, thank you for joining. Thank you, uh, Sapnesh. Thank you, Mr. P. Rajendran. And thank you others for joining us. Thank you. Thanks, Pratik. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah.